it's Camry and today I'm going to be doing kind of a DIY. My mom was telling me about these things that she used to do as a kid called shrink and inks and I was like, what are those? It sounds crazy, I have no idea what you're talking about. So then she showed me and I was like, these are actually really cool. So today I'm gonna to show you how to take these and actually make them a little bit more modern and put them on a pin or a button so you can put them on a jacket for back to school or whatever you want with them. But before we get onto the video, make sure you follow me on my socials, you can find them on the description box below. Now onto the video. shrink film. You can find this on Amazon or in any craft store. There should be some. And there are lots of different brands, so make sure that you follow the instructions for whatever brand paper that you get because they have different like prepping instructions and designing instructions and baking instructions. Alright, so now we are moving on to the fun steps. I like this one because you get to find your design and print it out. So just go onto the internet and find a picture that you like. You can basically print out anything to create. And make sure that you make it smaller so you can see in this one I picked a dog emoji. And you want to make it about 3 inches because a picture this size will come out about this size on your pin. And if you don't know how to do this, just go look it up on Google or YouTube. I'm sure there are lots of tutorials on how to. Alright, so now we're moving on to the tracing, so I have my trusty black sharpie right here, and since my paper is see-through, I'm going to just lay it on top, but if it's white, you might want to hold it up to the window so that you can see the image behind it. So you want to put as many as you can on one paper, so probably just move it over to the side a little bit so you can fit another picture right there or below it. all the ones that I want to trace on this paper I'm going to color it and you can color whatever colors you want and I would do it with Sharpies because we tested them and these work the best so this is where you can get your creative juices coming in here all right so now that I finished coloring I'm just gonna go back in and fill in some of the places where the black marker is that I missed So I finished my butterfly, and now I'm going to move on to the donut. So after you're done coloring your image, make sure you go back with the black sharpie and re-outline everything because the edges get a little bit messy when you color them. It is a different brand, and this one is white paper, so you guys can see how it colors differently. Alright, so now you're going to use your first grade cutting skills, and you're going to cut out your designs right on the border. So you don't want to cut on the inside of the border, just like right outside of it. Alright, here we go. some wax paper and then you're just going to stick your designs onto the pan and I would not mix the two different brands because they do have different cooking instructions so you don't want one to like get messed up because you're following the instructions for a different set so yeah just keep them separated it'll just make it a lot easier and now we're going to go downstairs and bake them according to the instructions on the back of the package on Amazon or another craft store and you also need a glue gun so basically you're just gonna take one of the, the tacks and add a little bit of hot glue on there and then just stick it in the back of your straight just like this and voila you have your pin Thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoy your shrink and inks as you can see I put one of mine on my hat also, make sure you subscribe to my channel. You can find that down below. And you can watch some more of my other videos by clicking over here. So just so you guys know, I did like the white paper better than the clear paper because it made the colors pop a lot better, as you can see from my hat. I used the mixtape one. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye!